My guys, welcome back to the podcast. I'm your host, John Cook. This is the Stay Loaded podcast where we talk about everything to keep your trucks, your dumpster, and your bank account loaded. Guys, I'm going to talk to you today. I'm going to give you a step-by-step, seven steps, how to increase your profits and not lose customers. It's step-by-step. You're going to want to write this down. You're going to want to take some notes. But first, Casey, roll the intro. Stay tuned to the uh, to the very end of the podcast. I am going to start something a little bit, well, completely new that I haven't seen done before. It's it's filled with a ton of value. Um, everybody can take advantage of it. There's no cost for it. But just stick around till the end of the podcast, and I'll explain to you guys how you get involved with it, uh, what I'm offering, and uh, how it can really benefit everybody listening to the podcast. You don't even have to own a dumpster company or own a junk removal company to take advantage of that. Hey, but let's get started. All right, guys. Seven ways to increase your profit and not lose customers. There's a recent survey that just came out 86 percent of the people surveyed price was not in the top five things they consider when making a purchase not in the top five so what are these guys considering value quality perception convenience, all sorts of things. But price really wasn't one of the top considerations. Guys, I I, I can prove this very, very, very easily to you. And I want you all to just think about yourself or maybe think about your neighbor or something like that. Are you, let's just start with you, you, you personally. Are you driving the cheapest car you could buy? Are you wearing the cheapest clothes you could buy? Do you eat at the cheapest restaurants? I'll go one step further. How many of you guys are living in the cheapest house you can afford? None of us. None of us. So we're not as concerned with price as we've convinced ourselves Everybody else is. So if we're not concerned about price, why why do you think your customers are? What, what makes you think that your customers are so price sensitive? They're only price sensitive if you're just selling them a dumpster. If you're selling them just a dumpster, they are price sensitive. But if you're selling them on other features, They're not nearly price sensitive. Um, Let's get started. Number one way to increase your profits and not lose customers, raise your price right now 10%. Right now, raise raise your price 10%, 10%. It is the quickest, the most efficient way To make more money in your business, raise your price. 10% is nothing. The fact of the matter is, most of your customers are not even going to notice the increase. Let's make it simple. Hey, if you did uh, 250 grand last year in your business, how would you like to have an extra 25K sitting in your bank account right now? It's pretty simple. 10% is really nothing. But how many of you guys are really going to do it? 
you, you're thinking right now to yourself, I can't do it. My customers won't go for that. In the last 30 days, in fact, I think it was during the month of May. No, it was right at the end of April. In the last 30 days, I increased my prices, some a little bit more, some a little bit less, on average, 24.1%. Every one of my services changed. That's the average price that they changed. Some were more than that, some were a little bit less, but on average, I moved all my prices 24.1%. Let's break it down. Are you going to lose some customers? You could. That's a very real thing. But the reality is, how many customers can you afford to lose if you're increasing your profits by 10%? And increasing, remember guys, I'm saying increase your prices. That increases your profit straight through. It's a straight through to your bottom line because we're not talking about changing your fuel. We're not cha talking about changing your labor. We're not talking about changing anything else in your business, just your price. So that all equates to a hundred percent profit, which is going to pass through to your bottom line because we're not changing how you do business. We're increasing your price by 10%. That's a straight pass through. Most businesses operate on about a 35% margin. I'm not saying I operate on it. I'm not implying that you operate on it. Generally, most businesses operate on 35%. That's going to allow you to add profit right to your bottom line without doing anything else in your business. I challenge you guys. I know it can be scary. But the other thing too, and I talked about this in a previous podcast, you're, you're going to start to move away from the problem clients. Plus, you're going to put 10% more today, tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, as fast as you need to do it. Remember, guys, this is one benefit of owning a business. You don't have to run this by anybody. You don't have to run it by anybody at all. Make the change. Take the challenge. And then give me some feedback. Let me know how it worked out for you. It's worked out great for me so far. And I'd like to share that with you guys. Go do it. 10% right now. Number two, sell your products and your service on benefits, not on price. Okay? I want you to sell your products and your services on benefits. So let's break this down. Are you just, remember again, guys, we talk a lot about dumpsters because that's the space I'm in. That's the arena I'm in. Am I just renting a dumpster? Am I renting a dumpster like everybody else is for the same amount of money, including the same tonnage for the same price, doing the same thing as everybody else? You're right. You're not going to stand out. How do you help the customer see the benefit? Find your pain points. What's the customer's pain points? You need benefits to give to them. Okay? Some of the benefits might be a quicker delivery. Some of the benefits might be um, a quicker pickup. I don't know how many of you guys have noticed this. We're always in such a hurry to deliver, but not really in a hurry to pick up. I get more interest when someone's booking on the pickup time and I just tell them I'm going to guarantee it picked up four hours after you let me know it's ready to go there's a ton of value in getting that picked up on time guys but that fits into the benefits section what else can you put into the benefits section and this is where you guys have to customize this for yourself but if you guys are finding that you're, you're getting price resistance, if you're finding that you're getting shopped, oh, my competition has it for the same price, and all this stuff, you're not helping the customer see the benefit, which means you're not marketing the benefit of your dumpster. You're marketing a dumpster. Guys, I don't know how many times I see this. 
Someone posts up a picture of a dumpster. We got dumpsters. Book them for the weekend. Book now. It, you're just you're not you're not hitting on any base. You're not connecting with these guys at all. You're not giving them the benefit of the dumpster. What's the benefit of the dumpster? Get that garage cleaned out before your husband gets home. Get that garage cleaned up before your your summer wedding. You know, you 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 got to find some benefit that these guys connect with and you got you got to you have to sell them on the benefit and quit looking at this as a dumpster and look at this as more you're solving a problem for your client. You're giving them a service that's allowing them to solve a problem. That's how you guys need to look at this, how to look at this to increase your profits. Because if you can sell them on the benefit, they're going to rent from you. If they're not renting from you, quit blaming it on price. It's not price. Price is 14% of the population. So out of 100 customers, 86 of them aren't concerned with price. They're aware of it, but they're not concerned about it. If you're not getting dumpsters, quit looking at your price and look at the benefit or the lack of the benefit that you've been trying to, that you've been trying to portray to your customer. Add more benefit to your service, to your product, and you're going to increase your profits. The, the key to adding benefit, guys, is to add something that gives your customer more value but doesn't cost you any more money. I'm going to use myself as the case study or the example. I guarantee dumpsters in four hours. You guys have all heard my slogan. You've all read it. You've all seen it. Choose from four sizes guaranteed in four hours. How much does that cost me? Zero. What about this? Guaranteed clean or it's free. It doesn't cost me anything because I was already washing and steam cleaning my dumpsters. It didn't cost me anything. But what is the perceived value from the customer on this? I'm getting a dumpster faster than I can even get it from anybody. And he's guaranteeing it clean or it's free. I've added enormous amounts of value on both those. And it really hasn't cost me anything. Number three, one of the very best things you can do is offer an extremely generous guarantee. It's going to be different for everybody. A very generous guarantee. As you guys know, I just mentioned it. My guarantee is it's clean or it's free guaranteed. Guys, let me tell you how I came up with this. I borrowed this from Domino's. You guys all remember Domino's. Not great pizza. Not at all. But you know what they were really good at? Delivering that pizza within 30 minutes. So people would order the pizza even though they knew it wasn't great pizza because they knew they were going to get it in 30 minutes. So I did the same thing. I took it and I'm like, okay, I'm already cleaning my dumpsters. I'm already doing something that nobody else is doing. So it's time to stand at the top of the rooftop and let my customers know, hey, it's clean or it's free. And that's a guarantee. That is a very generous guarantee. You need to come up with a guarantee similar to it. I'll give, you, I'll give you one more example that I'm playing with on the barbershop side. I haven't pulled the trigger on it yet, but I'm playing with it. The best damn haircut of your life or it's free. That's a guarantee I'm playing with in the barbershop. We're going to give you the best damn haircut you've ever had, guaranteed, or it's free. People want a guarantee. They want it. You don't need to be worried about someone coming around and being like, oh, but they're going to take me up on the guarantee. 
You bet. They are. But it does two things. It really keeps you in check with your quality and your value and how you run your business, knowing that you've put this out there for everybody to take advantage of. Guaranteed clean or it's free. On those times I don't want to wash a dumpster, I hear myself say that. Guaranteed free or guaranteed clean or it's free. It keeps you in check with what you do. But I'm telling you guys, guys want a, a, a very generous guarantee. They don't want a 30-day guarantee. They don't want a 60-day guarantee. Let me tell you the problem with like a 30-day guarantee. You give a 30-day guarantee and the people that are going to play that game are start about on day 20 and they start taking you up on it. You give them a guarantee with no expiration, six months down the road, they forgot you even gave them a guarantee. They're not going to cash in on it. This is the truth, guys. This is what's so crazy about like a short-term guarantee. 90 days of your money back. You load up all these guys on the 75th, 80, 85th day that want their money back. But if you give them a guarantee with no expiration and a generous guarantee they've never seen before, it says you believe in your service. It says you believe in your product. It says you are the best around. I challenge you guys, come up with your own generous guarantee, but you want to increase profits that pass through right to your bottom line, you need to come up with one. Since we've been running our guaranteed clean or it's free, I'm telling you, we've seen a, a dramatic increase in bookings. And I talked about this on the last podcast. My competition's all starting to use the word clean in their headlines, in their Google ads, different places. They're using, oh, cleanest dumpster in Utah. It, it, guys, it works, and customers want clean. If I can rent a clean dumpster or just a run-of-the-mill dumpster, I'm going to take a clean dumpster. Even if I pay a few dollars more, I'm going to take a clean dumpster. Quit trying to guess what your customers will spend money on and what they won't. These guys will spend money on rolly skates for driveway protection. These guys will spend extra money on a, a, a tarp while they're renting it so that nobody can put stuff in or so nothing can blow out. Quit, quit trying to guess what they'll spend money on. Give them all the options and watch what they spend the money on. You need a generous guarantee to add profit to your bottom line. Number four. Working on remodeling your kitchen or basement, adding a new addition to your house, or upgrading your flooring? Units on-site storage is a convenient solution tailored to fit your needs. Our on-site storage solution clears the way for your remodeling project allowing you to keep your belongings, equipment, or materials out of the construction mess to stay organized and stress-free. Take the stress out of your remodeling project with units. You need to learn to overcome price objections. It's, it's crucial to add profitability. Price objections look a little bit different, but the most common you guys are going to get is the competition down the street will rent me this dumpster for 400 and give me three tons. Will you match that price? Nope. The competition down the street will let me put concrete, sod, a mattress, two tires, a paint can, and a deceased animal in there. Will you let me do it? Nope. Guys, any time a customer starts bringing up the competition, I really want you to stop and rethink how you're wired on this. All they're saying is they want your service because they recognize you offer better service, but they want it at that price. Because the reality is, if it was all about price, they wouldn't be calling you. They wouldn't even be calling you. They would have just called that guy and booked, an, booked a dumpster. So anytime somebody says your competition is priced here or that, they want your service. They're attracted to your service. Don't give them that price. 
It's your price. It's their this price. They want that, but they're basically asking you, justify it for me. Show me the benefit. Show me the value. Show me why it's different. Make me feel good about spending my money with you. Overcoming objections, it's not even an art form. It's knowing your worth, knowing your value, knowing the benefit that you bring. And when they start talking about the competition, understand they already want your service. They're just going to see if they can get it for that price because they are not a price shopper. When they, when they start making those noises, even though it may seem like they're a price shopper, they're not. Because if they were, they would have booked with your competition and they wouldn't be on the phone with you. Number five, this is, this is probably the f- funnest one to get the most creative on. Number five, everybody needs an elite or premium option. You should have an option that's just head and shoulders above everything else you offer. Just you need to have a service that 25% of your customers are going to hit just because it's the most expensive. This happens to me all the time. Let me tell you what happens all the time. Guys rent the biggest dumpster for the max amount of days that they can. 25% of my customers rent my largest dumpster for the largest amount of time that they possibly can. They never fill it. They never go the full term. They put 25% in that dumpster and 24 hours later they call me and tell me to come get it. 25% of your clients will by default go to your top shelf, top tier price and that's what they're going to buy. They're just conditioned. You get what you pay for, costs more, It's better. I want it. That's how I roll. I'm a big tipper. I'm a big spender. I need a big dumpster. If you do not have an elite or premium pricing, at least on one product or service that you offer, you are missing out on the 25% of the clientele in your your base of clients that you can basically make a living on. Guys, I want you to remember, there's 25% of the population that will always choose the most expensive option. It's just how they roll. It's just how they're wired. I want you to create an elite option. I want you to create an elite pricing somewhere on one of your services Because, guys, that's all profit that passes through to the bottom line. Number six, you need to learn to sell yourself. As simple as this sounds, this is a profitability and an increased profitability issue. Timid people are never going to be as profitable as somebody who's outgoing. It's a fact, guys. You you you, you got to you got to sell yourself. You you got to get out there and you got to find ways to to get your customers to look at you differently and outside the box. Let me let me give you let me give you an illustration. There's I love outside the box thinking and when it comes to selling yourself I'm going to give you two examples, real quick examples of two industries that I think are boring as hell and it's hard as shit to create value in these two. One is a dentist. I hate the dentist. I hate going to the dentist. I think there's no value 
in dentists. Yeah, they clean your teeth or whatever else. How do you create any value on that? And I ran across a dentist that hit a home run thinking outside the box by selling himself. Here's what he does. The first time a child, a newborn, I don't know what they are, 12 months, 18 months, 24 months. I don't even know the first time a kid goes to the dentist. doesn't really matter. But the first time the kid goes to the dentist, the dentist gives the child a card with a picture of a bicycle on it. And, it, and it's a punch card. And every time that child comes back for a cleaning, an x-ray, a checkup, a tooth pull, whatever it is, the dentist punches this card, much like a coffee card, and it's a sad amount. When the card's punched, the kid gets a bicycle from the dentist. Now, this is brilliant on a couple of areas. The dentist knows when kids should start first coming to the dentist, and the dentist knows about when a kid's going to learn to start to ride a bike. So he has this all timed out. All right, what does a bike cost? A couple hundred bucks. So the dentist just figures the, the cost of the bike in. And let's face it, most of the people going to the dentist have insurance anyway. He's just figuring the cost of the bike in, but he's getting this kid for life as a patient because he's forever known as the dentist that gave the kid a bike for coming to the dentist. That's one example of a guy thinking outside the box, creating value and selling himself. The next is, an example of a butcher, like at a meat shop, what can you really do? I mean, yeah, you can have high quality meat, but you're competing with everybody else. Like, it's so difficult to create value. There's a local butcher I know that came up with the idea that he made recipe cards for dinners using all the different meats and fishes and whatever else from his butcher shop. And he printed these these recipes on super nice cards and he put them in a recipe box. And the first time anyone came into his store, it didn't matter if they bought a pound of hamburger or they bought $400 worth of beef to freeze. He would give them one of these boxes with all these recipes in it and obviously losing money on the first visit in for these guys only buying a pound of hamburger. But what it did is it had the recipe for all these dinners. And if you flip the card over and you wanted to make this dinner, you scan the QR code on the back and his butcher shop would deliver you every item on that recipe card for dinner of which he made a lot of money. It's a brilliant idea so that all they got to do is flip through their recipes, see what they want for dinner, hit the QR code, that goes right to the butcher shop, and they deliver every item down to the salt and pepper that they need for this, which is where he made his money. Guys, just think outside the box. Sell yourself. All It's obviously about giving value, but you got to remember, guys, most your competition is not willing to sell themselves. They don't know how to sell themselves. I've talked about this numerous times. You need to get loud. You need to be seen. You need to be heard. And you need to do things that give value. Guys, I'm telling you right now, a blow-up gorilla and free hot dogs at a car dealership on Saturday is a gimmick. That's a gimmick. There's no value there. Zero value. Ask yourself before you do it. Is there value or is it a gimmick? What the dentist is doing with the free bicycle is value. What the butcher is doing is value. Don't do a gimmick, but do a value. Get loud. Sell yourself. Be heard. Give your customer value and sell yourself. Number seven, there's this movement right now with the economy and everything else about competition. Competition is always going to be there, but you need to be prepared to defend yourself against your competition when you do get asked. I'm not saying go out there and badmouth your competition, but I'm saying go out there and do things that make it hard for your competition to compete. 
I've talked about this numerous times with skid steers. I got into skid steers to create value, which makes it hard for my immediate competition to compete with me unless they go spend the money and buy the machine and do the same thing. Look, I'm not I'm not saying everybody has to go out and buy a skid steer, even though you guys know how I feel about this. If you're considering yourself an elite junk removal or a premier dumpster rental company, I'm telling you right now, you're trying to do business without some type of machinery. You're not even in the game right now. And that's just, that's my thought. You guys know how I feel about it. But that's how you create distance between you and your competition. You do something that makes it difficult for them to do. Put a lot of space between you and your competition. If you guys watch closely at the things that I do and the things that I talk about and the services that I provide and the equipment that I run and how I run my show, it is very difficult for my competition to keep up with me. I'm not saying impossible. I'm saying difficult. And that's where I want them to be. Because if they have to spend the same money I spend, their prices are up. If they're given the same value that I'm giving... Their prices have to come up. See where we're going with this? More prices, more profitability. Guys, this is all about seven ways to bring more profitability to your bottom line without losing customers. The funny thing is, on all seven of these steps that I gave you, it's good for the client. I want you guys to start asking yourself, Two questions. We, we, this is something we do in the barber shop, and we're going to relate it over into dumpsters. In the barber shop, my guys that all work for me, we, we have this saying that we live by Is it good for the client? Is it good for the barber? Is it good for the shop? If it doesn't check all three boxes, we don't do it. It has to be good for the client has to be good for the barber working in the shop, and it has to be good for the barber shop. The same thing goes for dumpsters, guys. Is it good for the client? Is it good for the business? If you're running employees, is it good for the employee? And if it doesn't check all three of those, it's a big no-go for me. But all seven of these examples I gave you, your business is going to win and be more profitable. The customer is going to receive more value and be happier and not give you any rub or any pushback on your pricing. It's a foolproof way to work, guys. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the podcast. Um, practice that. Raise your prices 10%. Drop a comment down below. If you actually took this serious and raised your prices 10%, I want to look at your website. I want to, I want to watch you grow. I want to be your biggest fan and your biggest cheerleader when you're raising your prices and you're making more money. Have the courage, guys. Do it. Most won't do it. Most listening to this won't do it, and it's crazy because it is the quickest, the easiest and adds the most money to your bottom line, and you can do it right now. You can go onto your website. You can change your prices. I know I can already hear you guys. Oh, I got my rate cards printed up and everything else like that. Great. Figure out how much profit you're making. Throw those cards away and reprint new ones. Guys, remember, this podcast is all about keeping your trucks loaded, keeping your dumpsters loaded, keeping your bank account loaded. I, I appreciate you guys listening. All right, here's what we're going to do, guys, as promised, into the podcast. I'm going to start a new segment on this podcast called One Click Away. Here's how it works. I'm going to give you guys an email below. It's heysameday at gmail.com. So it's hey, H-E-Y, same day at gmail.com. I want you guys to email me your website address in the subject line just put one click away what i'm going to do is i'm going to go through your guys's websites okay 
Don't email me if you don't want me talking about your website on my podcast or on my YouTube channel. But here's what I'm going to do. For everybody that sends me in their web address, I'm going to start looking at them. And then I'm going to I'm going to pick one a week that I'm going to talk about and I'm going to give you the honest, raw, encouraging feedback that you need that most people are unwilling to give you. This is not going to be sugar-coated. This is not going to be insulting. This is going to be hey, I'm going to I'm going to show you what your load speed is. I'm going to tell you what it looks like on desktop. I'm going to I'm going to tell you why you need to make sure your mobile version is because it's different. And I'm going to go through and I'm going to give you all my feedback and I'm going to tell you what's working for you, what's not working for you. There's no cost for this. But be aware by emailing me, you're giving me basically your authorization to talk about your website on my podcast or on my YouTube. Look guys, there's a lot of benefit. I'm going to share with you and I'm going to give you constructive feedback for changes that you can make to it. I'm doing this all free. Plus, anyone that listens to my podcast or watch my YouTube channel, you're going to get that exposure as well for free because I'm talking about your business and everything else. It's called One Click Away, guys. So, if you want some feedback, email us, hey, same day at Gmail. Drop your website in there. And starting next week, I'm going to start picking a website and I'm going to spend some time and go through it and talk about what I like about it, improvements you can make, maybe things you should be doing different, things like that. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a review. Don't forget to give us a rate. We appreciate you guys all so much. For you guys listening to this on the night that it drops, remember guys, we're right in the middle of the DOT blitz. That's the safety blitz. It will finish up tomorrow night, and then that's the 17th, so uh, just be aware of that. Drive safely out there, guys. Secure your loads. Don't haul overloaded dumpsters, and remember, stay loaded, guys.